Hello, how are you today? I'm Stella Oni, author of Crime Fiction, Deadly Sacrifice. I'm here again with my London series. I thought I was not going to be able to make a London series this week because I thought I would not be able to finish a book. Well, guess what? I not only finished the book, I absolutely enjoyed this lovely city by Louis Hare. Louis, well done. Very, very satisfied with this. So, I will tell you a little bit about the book. I'm not going to read from the book this time, but if I had to, i read from the book. Anyway, this is a very British book set between 1948 and 1950. So it actually weaves between 1948 and 1950. And think about, I, when, I, when I was reading this book, I was thinking bread pudding, chips, mashed potato, Coronation Street, you know, but set in that period, beautifully written by Lewis. And um, so what's it, what is it about? It's, it's a cry fiction. It's a great story around it, a great theme. She actually, see, this is the thing I love about crime fiction because you can write crime fiction and you can have a solid, um, a few solid themes within your crime fiction, which is what I kind of do in some of my work, you know, you know, have a theme and then weave it around and, and your reader is still, hopefully, your reader is still satisfied with what they've got and that I am very satisfied um, reader and I'm a fan now of Louise's uh, work. So this is set in 1948. So this is early Windrush generation. Um, this is where the mother country, Britain, wells, welcoming all our Commonwealth children, especially the ones from the Caribbean, to come. It was after the war. So come, come in, come and work. We've got lots of work for you, you know, so that I can come on bring up and and help the economy to grow so it was set around that period and um so the the main character is uh, laurie matthews who came fresh for the for the caribbean beautiful looking handsome young man i think he was about 19 responsible and really really and fell in love with evie and Evie is a product, is a mixed race uh, young woman. I think she too was about 18. Um, mixed race young woman, the product of a white mother, and a black African father who had long since gone back a student. I think the mother had an affair and the, the father had long since left. So she never got to know her dad. And... Um, her mom never wanted to talk about it, so it was really a very complicated relationship because in the 1940, in the late 1940s, around that, those period, if a white woman goes with a black man, it is not, she's not treated very kind, kindly. So her, if his mom went through a rough time, you know, you could even see that in the book, in some areas of the book. So that's a very complicated relationship. Uh, and this is where Lu uh, Louise's skill as a storyteller comes into play because she's able to weave all of this into around this crime that took place. And that was that Laurie, who is a postman by uh, in the day, a musician at night, he plays the clarinet with a group and they, they enjoy it. It's quite a, a, you know, kind of, I would say successful in the sense that they get gigs, you know, in the night and loves it. And the black market Aram boy for his landlady's uh, son, who is this, you know, bit of a barrel boy who hustles, you know, so he, he drops. And what does he drop? Things like sugar, tights. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Sugar and tights. Anyway, so he would drop that package um, off for this, you know, this chap. So on one of his errands, he came across you know i don't want to go too much into details but he found the body of a black child in a pond in clapham and that child was under a year old and quite dead so of course the police started doing their investigation around it and it became a big thing because that child looks like a mixed race child so therefore around that community was like a black a white woman would have had an affair with 
uh, you know so with a black man and therefore this would have been a product and that child when they did the autopsy i think the child it was found that the child had it wasn't you know it was a suspicious death in the sense of even the child being dumped in the pond so all that tension was going on and poor Laurie was right in the middle of it and um yeah like i said it was you know that it, so it was found in clapham so you can see this is london real london uh, a lot of black people came actually a lot of people came to settle around clapham balam battersea other parts of london um yours truly well not in the 40s mind you <laughs> much later my parents came and they actually settled around clapham i know they lived in clapham they lived in chelsea at some point they lived in balam but i was actually born in in clapham so there you go so anyway um then the story weaves around the lives of the settlers it gets really complex louise trust me had lots of surprises that came at the end my goodness she really delivered so yes great tale with a crescendo ending and i was so immersed and fascinated by that relationship you know in terms of the mixed race uh, children are products that came in the 40s the 50s and because evie was you know she was she she was a white a mixed race girl amidst you know in the middle in the midst of um either so completely black people or white people but she was not she was a, she was rare as a mixed race um young woman in that community so i felt her pain but guess what? A book came out as part of Jacaranda's 20 in 2020. This book is um, a memoir by, by S1 Siwa, Jane Goldsmith. Um, it's called The Space Between Black and White. And it was set, she was born in the 50s. And Eswa was born, was a, is a mixed race child, just like Evie. Her mother had an, an affair with her father. And her father pushed off to Africa and her mother had to, was the one that brought her up, refused to give her up or anything like that. So Eswa was brought up with white relatives. In fact, the first time she came across a black child was when she was about four. Um, I think it was on the common, somewhere on the common. On the, she was going, went to a park with her auntie and she came across a black child and she was fascinated to see a child that actually looks like her. So this is an amazing memoir that actually reflects what Louise was saying here in this fantastic book. So if you really want to see, you know, read about a real life experience of um, being between that space in that set in the 50s, this is a real life memoir if you're interested. So it's a space between Black and White by S1 Siwa, Jane Goldsmith. And at some point, I'll probably speak to Louise and S1 and see if I can get them together. Because it will be a very interesting um, conversation between them. So if you think you're interested in, in this, let me know. I know we're crime. This is crime fiction. and I'm, a, I'm deviating a, a bit from, from this. But if you're interested in wanting to know more, then definitely I could try and see if I can get both of them together and actually see what conversation will come out of it. But I tell you something, I was bowled over by this book. And guess what? She is um, going to release her second book in, in February. So on the 20, it's coming out on the February 2022. Louise's second book will be coming out. I can't remember the title, but I know it's um it's about a lady called Lena, um, Old Aldridge because I read a little bit of the um ec you know except exclusive sneak peek at louise's next book and uh, i can't wait to read your next book and i think this particular one i think it might it's probably going to be a series i'm not too sure but oh my god what a beginning when i read it i thought i want more louise i want it now but i know you're still writing it and still going through the pains because where are we now we're in may so you're probably still going through the pains of it, yeah? All right, Louise, I'll, 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 no pressure, no pressure. But I'm looking forward to your next book. You are a brilliant writer and I'm so pleased that I read your work as part of my London series. So 
folks i shall leave you now and thanks very much for listening to me i ask oh god i love this book i can't tell you how much i love it but here we are this lovely city by louise hair thank you very much and have a wonderful day see you <laughs>